So what is up YouTube? It's your homeboy Josh. For today we're going to be going back to the finance world wherein we're going to be talking about Tide, Starling Bank, and Nat West. So basically I want to talk about Tide first and Starling Bank. So both of them outperform high street banks when it comes to sorting out your finances online. That's because they are designed for small businesses and sole traders. The high street banks are mostly interested in only large businesses and corporations. I guess that's one of uh that's one of the very common facts that you usually hear, right? And so just a small overview with um Tide. So um they are better when it comes to invoices which are unlimited and free to send. They are designed specifically for the UK small business owners. Tide also generates more detailed spending insights and monthly statements. While on the other hand, we have Starling Bank. Okay, this is Tide. Then we're going to go to Starling Bank right now. This is the better choice for no-fee digital business banking. Their business account gets you free UK bank transfers, free ATM withdrawals, integration with dozens of apps, and access to Euro and US dollar accounts. So now we're going to talk about a little bit of the details that they offer. So is Starling Bank um, how safe is uh, Starling Bank when you're using them? So Starling Bank wins the, wins the category uh, when it comes to safety because it has um, obtained a full banking license from the UK. In fact, it was the very first neo bank ever to be registered as a complete bank in the UK by the Prudential Regulation Authority and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, which is FCA. Furthermore, Starling Bank has a more sophisticated fraud protection technology. I guess this is one of the best uh, features that you would be looking into, especially if you are a business owner. So their real-time prevention platform attempts to notify you within 24 hours of noticing potentially high-risk behavior on your accounts. On the other hand, we have Tide. So how safe is Tide? So still remains an excellent safe choice while Tide is not a bank. It is a fintech platform, financial technology platform authorized by the FCA under the electronic money regulations in the UK. It partners with ClearBank to insure your account with the FSCS. So uh, I have a short chart right here. So Tide is a fintech platform again. Business accounts are 450,000 uh, while Starling Bank is a regulated bank and business accounts are 500,000. Both are FSCS insured. So, actually, both of these banks are um, very well known for their great customer services because, again, they uh, cater to small business owners, to startup owners, for their business banking accounts. All right. Because, um, you know, the big players out there don't really look into much with the small business owners since they um, are usually interested with large businesses. All right. So um, a little bit on their differences, international payments, uh, Starling Bank actually dominates tied in this because it they support competitive international money transfers around the world, while Tide does not support international transfers because Tide, again, focuses you on the UK only. Check deposits, so you can deposit a check free of charge either through Starling Bank app or via post. Tide does not support check deposits at this time. Cash flow insights, so uh, Tide dominates this um, factor because their online platform analyzes your financial activities to project your potential cash flow in the future. So this ability predi to predict your um, balance up to 30 days ahead and give you peace of mind as a business owner. It can also give you the leeway you need to make the investments you need to grow your business in the future. So Starling Bank, on the other hand, they track your spending habits, breaking finances down by category. You can automatically set aside savings too, but it does not match up to Tide's advanced cash flow insight features. So again, they were gonna do uh with invoicing, Tide is the better one, and then cashback and interest. This is quite um a factor because Tide offers 0.5% cashback with their Tide card if you sign up for the cashback plan, which costs £49.99 per month. Starling Bank does not offer a cashback card. Um, this could be a deal breaker right here. 
So to make it very easy for you to choose, I'm going to talk about Tide first right here. So Tide is supported in Android, iOS, web uh, in, on web browsers. So deposits for Tide work through bank transfers, direct deposit, or cash. They don't support any international transfers. They do free invoice. They have a debit card. They don't have a credit card, though. They are contactless, of course, because they are fintech. And um, they don't have euro or US dollar accounts. They file value-added tax, and they have business loan access. On the other hand, Starling Bank right here is also supported in Android, iOS, and the web browsers. They do bank transfers, direct deposit cash, and check with their uh, deposits. International transfers worldwide. And free invoicing. They don't do free invoicing. They have a debit card. They also don't have a credit card. They can also do contactless. They have euro and US dollar accounts. They also file value-added tax and business loan access. So lastly, we're going to talk about Nat West. Here, this is their website. And I'm going to give you an overview about this bank. So they are one of the largest banks in the United Kingdom. That's already a factor right there. They offer a range of financial services, including personal banking, business banking, and wealth management. So NatWest has over 1,600 branches across the UK and employs around 28,000 people. So NatWest was founded in 1968 and is headquartered in London. In 2017, the bank had total assets of $333 billion and reported a profit of $1.6 billion. NatWest is a part of the Royal Bank of Scotland group, which includes the RBS and Ulster Bank brands. The group operates in 36 countries and serves around 24 million customers worldwide. So in 2018, it was named one of the world's most sustainable banks by Bloomberg. That's actual quite an achievement there. So I'm going to go to the fees of... Uh, let me see. So the fees are really variating because they, again they have a lot of accounts they offer a lot and um if i go through the list of their fees they uh, it would be somehow uh, uh tiresome to listen to however i can give you an overview so they have for example their rewards silver and platinum accounts let's go for the silver first so silver accounts silver rewards accounts monthly cost is 10 pound Travel insurance is only European. Mobile phone insurance, yes, they offer that one. They also offer fee-free fee foreign card purchases. They offer a taste card. UK breakdown cover, they don't offer that on their silver rewards. Monthly reward for setting up two direct debits, at least two pound £2 each. They have um, a fee for four pound for that one. And they, all, they also charge one pound for monthly reward for logging into the mobile app. So... With uh, the Platinum Rewards, the monthly cost for that is £20. Travel insurance is worldwide, which is very good. And the Platinum Rewards account offers mobile phone insurance. They offer um, zero-cost foreign card purchases. It offers the taste card, offers a car breakdown cover in the UK. Monthly reward for setting up two direct debits, at least £2 each, is £5. And monthly reward... For logging into the mobile banking app is one pound. So you already know the details about these three banks. Actually, they're not three banks. It's just two banks and one fintech. So you already know all the details. Now, the next question is, how are you supposed to choose between the three of them? So basically, just simply check the, your needs, your preferences, and the way you want to do your banking so that you could make the best decision in choosing which of these three are you to choose. Like, are you um, are you fit to go with Tide? Are you fit to go with NatWest? Or are you fit to go with Starlink? So basically, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for a lot of more videos. This is your homeboy, Josh, and I'm going to see you on the next one.